Going on, Faded Culture. I'm Agent Barone. We got Carlos here on the chair. The big <laughs> Hold on, let me press record too. <laughs> you swear. That's <laughs> you ugly, Loki. I'm ugly? Yeah, big head. You can't even see your tat. Will any <laughs> Just put it up in there. <laughs> 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 Just put it up in there. <laughs> Okay. What's going on, hey, Fader Coach? Don't forget to shout me out before you do the video. I'm not gonna shout you out, bro. Shut up. Oh, just stay right there. What's going on, Fader Coach? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna run y'all down some simple steps on doing a simple men's haircut without taking down the sides too short. Go this way. Okay. Don't talk. Just, just stay looking like right there without moving. All right. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm on. Right. Put your phone on silent. It's on silent. You know what? Just stay like that. Don't talk. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna run y'all down some simple steps on doing a simple men's haircut without taking down the sides too short. Also, before I start that video, I wanna quickly tell you that we just dropped our new merch. I'm gonna leave down the link in the description for y'all so y'all can go ahead and uh, check it out. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so before I start, I'm gonna dampen the hair really well. That way the hair is a lot more manageable and uh, easier to control in section. Then we're gonna come down the middle with the profile section to create the shape and length that we want. You're gonna wanna create this section about a finger and length wide. And take your time when creating these sections. The cleaner your sections, the cleaner your trim up top will be. I'm gonna pull up my first section from the front and since I want the front to almost have the same length that it already has, I'm gonna almost leave it the same, but I'm gonna trim shorter as I reach the back of the head. And this initial section is gonna be our guideline to trimming the rest of the hair. And as you see here, I'm gonna check my whole section, that way I see everything is nicely cut and even. Next, I'm gonna comb down this section and uh, I'm gonna move forward towards the left side of his head. And what you see that I'm gonna do here is basically I'm gonna just cut half of that initial section into our new section, that way we could see our guideline as we'll be able to see how much to cut uh, so that we maintain an even length. Try not to go so thick with your sectioning. As you see here, I'm only coming about another finger in length off to the side to create our second section. Then we're just gonna pull up that section and we're gonna look for our guideline in the back. And then we're just gonna trim away to match that back first sectioning. Always look for your first guideline, that way you know exactly how much to cut in length. Next, we're gonna repeat that same process, cutting about half of this section onto our new section so we can maintain that same length. And we're gonna do this till we reach the parietal ridge or the curvature of the head, that way the whole top of the head is nicely cut and even. And next we're gonna move on to the right side of the head and again guys, cutting about half of that initial first section into our new section moving on to the right side of his head.
right here from this angle you'll be able to see the back length so I know how much of the new section to cut out. And once you're done trimming away everything vertically, you could come back and cross check your work horizontally starting from the back. That way, just to ensure everything on top is nicely cut and even. And now that we're done with the scissor trim up top, we're gonna come in with a blow dryer and really dry the hair so we can start our clipper work. And next we're gonna start with the one and a half, that's the one with the lever open. And we're gonna lay down our first guideline here with the low fade curving down towards the back. Take your time so you know that everything is nicely cut and even and make sure this first guideline is cut even all around the sides of his head. Next I'm gonna come in with the two with the lever open and I'm gonna come over about a finger and length up high to set down our second guideline. And next I'm gonna throw on the three guard, keeping the lever open, that's a three and a half. But this time I'm gonna basically just, uh, with slow strokes, basically connect the side length of his hair to the top hair. And as you see here, I'm kind of scooping outwards as I reach the curvature of his head. That way I'm not taking off a lot of length from the top hair. And if you feel the three and a half didn't do the job completely, you can always come back in with clipper over comb and uh, just take out any hair that sticks out towards the sides, kind of sculpting the shape of the head. And here I'm coming in with my blending shears just to blend those dark areas around the parietal ridge and the crown. And uh, yeah, just so that we can make sure everything is nicely blended from the side up onto the top length of the hair. And all you're looking for is dark areas, combing them out and with your thinning shears, trying to soften the, that dark area. And now we're gonna blend out this guy line right here. I'm gonna come in with my one and a half clip open to about three quarters and I'm gonna start picking out at that first guy line so that we can take it out. And you'll see right here that uh, I'll start at this initial guy line with it at three quarters, but then I'll open it all the way just to finish blending it out completely. And we're gonna continue this process moving back from the three quarters to open all the way until we get this line taken out completely all around his head. I like to focus on about maybe like two inches of hair at a time. That way I don't get overwhelmed with this process. And uh, yeah, just blending out a small section at a time until we reach the opposite side of the head. And once you're pretty much done taking out the guideline and your client, all he wants is a one and a half on the sides, then you're pretty much done. All you'll need to do is kind of consult with him to see how far up he wants his sideburn to be cut off. And uh, just come in with your trimmers to do all his lineup work and that'll be pretty much it. But uh, say they do want a ball taper, then I'm gonna come in and uh, explain those steps as well so that y'all can have both options. For the taper, I'm gonna come in with the zero. That's the lever closed all the way and I'm gonna lay down my first guideline and I'm gonna keep it kind of low. And uh, then I'm gonna lay down my second guideline, open the lever to a half and just come up about a finger and length up high. And here you're just gonna be left with these two guidelines and we're gonna stop taking out that top one first. I'm gonna come in with a half clip open to about three quarters and blend out that top guideline onto the one and a half side length. Next, we're gonna take out that first guideline. I'm gonna start with the clipper lever closed and then you'll see that I gradually open it halfway and then all the way to finish blending and uh, tying in the fade together. 
So right here, I'm just using small strokes on the initial guideline, and here I open it halfway, come up a tad bit higher, and then in a bit, I'm gonna open it all the way to finish taking out that whole guideline completely. And next, I'm gonna just come in with my trimmers to take out this bottom hair of the taper. That way it's short enough so we can come in with our electric shaver to bought it out. The electric shavers go down all the way to the skin so it leaves a nice clean transition from the skin to the length, side length of his hair. And here I'm going to find the peak area at his temple and that's where I'll start with my trimmers to shape out this C curve right here on the side of his hair. Try and stay as natural as possible with your lineup work. So just take your time and with soft little dabs, taking out a bit at a time until everything is nice and clean. And again guys, here I'm gonna kinda just give you a quick example of what you would do if they didn't want no taper in the back. They're just gonna line up the sides and they can either get it squared or round in the back. But uh, right here I'm gonna just demonstrate how it would look if he just wanted it squared and that's just how it would look you just take out the hair completely and you can use your electric shavers to take it out but then if they do want a ball taper in the back i'm gonna come in and lay down my first guideline here with the trimmers set to a zero that's the lever closed and then i'll lay down my second guideline with the lever open and that's a half and i'm gonna come up about another finger in length up high and now we'll just have to take out these two guidelines the top one first i'm gonna come in with the half clip lever open to about three quarters and start working at this guideline starting from the left side working my way a bit at a time till I reach the opposite side of his head and I noticed in the back of his head this half clip didn't take it out completely so I'm gonna come back in with the one clip keeping the lever in the same position just to finish taking out that top guideline completely And now moving on to take out the first guideline again starting with the lever closed all the way then we'll open it halfway and then all the way to, uh, to finish taking out this last guideline completely. So yeah I ran the initial zero the lever closed throughout the back taper and here I opened it halfway just to continue blending up a little higher. You see that I kind of just used more of the corners of the clippers as that helped me kind of fade out in a more detailed manner. So here I just opened the lever all the way to finish tying in this blend all together. And next we're just coming again with our trimmers to take out the bottom hair before coming in and hitting it with our electric shavers. And make sure you're using kind of just gentle dabs with your trimmers as you don't want to irritate your client's skin. And now we're just gonna come in and repeat the same process on the right side of his taper. Starting again here with the lever closed and then setting, on, setting down our second guideline with the lever open. Again, taking out the top guideline first with the half clip open to about three quarters. And next, our initial guideline with the zero, that's the lever closed all the way. And then uh, you'll open the lever halfway, move up a little higher, and then all the way just to finish tying in the blend. Now 
then just follow it up with the trimmers as well take out that bottom hair and then just come in with the electric shaver so that everything gets shaped down to the skin and again look for his peak his natural peak at the temple area and I'll start from there and kind of work my way down to the side to create a nice smooth C shape uh, to the temple area and before I line up his forehead area, I'm going to grab a couple clips just to hold the top length out of the way. And then I'll come in with my trimmers and starting from the middle, work my way to the sides to form the 90 degree angle so that everything is just nice and boxed up. And then I'll work my way off to the opposite side and repeat the same steps. Then I'm going to apply just a little bit of shaving gel throughout the whole lineup before I come in with my straight razor. And with my straight razor, I like to tug the skin and I, I always start by shaving down with the grain just to take off more or most of this shaving gel and uh, the peach fuzz. And then I'll come back against the grain just to get everything nice and sharp. And again, let the razor do the work. You don't gotta press down hard or anything because you will or you can cut your client or irritate his skin and again here you'll see that I'm coming against the grain and when you go against the grain it uh just gets it that much closer to the skin so you have a nice clean shave I'm gonna repeat the process on the back side of his hair and right behind the ear and the same thing um, I'm gonna come and shave with the grain first to take out most of the hair and then I'll come back a second time and kind of shave up against the grain so that we get a really nice sharp lineup. And once you're done, I'm going to come in and apply a little bit of enhancements. And like I said in all my other videos, I mean, enhancements are always optional. That's up to you or the client if they want them or not. But if you want a more detailed uh, way of putting on enhancements, I got a video that I'll link up right here for y'all. Feel free to check it out. But uh, as for the haircut, that's pretty much it. I'm going to come in with a matte clay pomade and uh, just style it. Here's a quick before of the haircut. And then I'll show y'all the after right here. So yeah guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down in the comment sections y'all's thoughts. And uh, also I'm going to leave down in the description the steps so y'all can follow in written format. So again guys, this is Faded Culture. My name is Sergio Barron. I'm out.